What is up guys? Tanner back from the GT's Outdoors channel with another Gun of the Week video. So this is a pretty cool one. I actually bought this gun yesterday. Went out and shot uh, 300 rounds through it. Uh, shot some trap, shot some skeet. Um, had some fun with it. So this is a uh, Legacy Arms or Legacy Sporting Puma. Um, they look very similar to the Charles Daly's. I'm not really sure. They're probably made in the same factory. It's it says it's made in Turkey by Franklin Arms, right about here. Uh, it's a 20 gauge, three inch chamber, uh, obviously. Uh, it did come with choke set, came with five extended chokes, and they are uh, pretty nice. Here's a, here's a modified here. I got the improved modified in there now for shooting trap with, and it, it shot real well. The lowest I shot was a 23. So, uh, obviously, for those people who shoot trap, there's 25 birds in uh in a round so i mean it shot pretty good um so i was pretty happy with it um it's got a nice uh turkish walnut wood stock uh with nice checkering here and then nice uh nice checkering all the way around the pump it's actually really pretty wood uh, does have a stainless all right excuse me not a stainless a uh i guess i want to call it a nickel finished uh barrel extension that slides up into there. Um, it's pretty nice. It, it makes it nice and easy to clean. You can tell there's a little schmoo on my finger, but I haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, it's a plastic trigger guard. Safety's here on it. Trigger's not bad at all. Um, it is a 26 inch barrel. I'll give you guys a view of that there. Um, pretty nice long barrel, it's super smooth. Um, did not come with front sling stud or a rear, unfortunately, but that's no big deal. I'm going to turn around and give you guys another view of it here, the back side here. So pretty nice little shotgun, though, for uh, paid $250 for this brand new. Um, it's got like a parkerized finish. No big deal. This is going to be a good dove gun. This can probably be my go-to dove gun. I might even crow hunt with it, all kinds of stuff. I just really wanted a good pump 20-gauge that uh, I could rely on, and this seems to be that for that money, a good beater. Um, you know, if I scratch it, I'm not too worried about it. Um, does have the uh, nice uh, vent rib up here. You know, pretty pretty standard on a lot of a lot of cheaper shotguns these days. Um, does have um, plastic trigger guard, like I mentioned. The stock has fit real well to it. Um, pretty pretty impressed with that. Um, super smooth on the the pump action. Um, it is already losing some of its parkerization there. Uh, you can kind of tell it kind of rubs on and off. It's all right. I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's it's a beater shotgun. It does just have a nice brass bead here on the end of it. So nothing special. Might put a fiber optic on it at some point, but uh, not right away. So Legacy Sports is the one who uh, I'm assuming imports these. Got um, your release here like a uh, Mossberg. Just overall a pretty nice shotgun. It is a uh, Got a dovetail on it, so you could put a dovetail adapter on it and put a red dot if you wanted to uh, you know, use it as a turkey gun or whatnot. They also do have this in a synthetic black stock, but I obviously I prefer wood. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before. I'm, uh, I like wood on guns. I'm not big on the synthetic, but overall a pretty nice shotgun for $250. It's got a nice uh, nice little butt pad here too. It's you know, not, too, uh, not too flimsy or anything, but it's got enough cushion in there that it's not like an anvil top, so takes two pins to take the trigger group out. Uh, super easy for the disassembly. They sent a user manual with all the replacement parts if you ever need anything and how to disassemble it, how to clean it, whatever. So that was pretty nice for those first-time gun buyers who maybe aren't as familiar with how to clean a gun. This is an entry-level shotgun, and I'm, I'm fine with that. I think it's a good shooter. Definitely shot pretty well uh, as far as clays go, so... That's about it, guys. Uh, but that, the five extended chokes and this gun for 250 bucks, that's, you really can't, uh, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, it comes with a, you know, one of their cheap little choke cases, but show that off again. It comes with a choke tool too, but uh, so you get improved cylinder, cylinder, modified, improved, modified, and that should be full. Yep. So I do like how they put it on there instead of just the notches for those people who don't know. Um, half the time I forget anyways, oh, what's three notches? What's two notches? Whatever. Now, three notches and one notch I know is modified in full, so then I just figure it from there most of the day, most of the time. But um, they got their little logo stamped here for the Puma. So overall, I would recommend it if you're in the market for a cheap 20 gauge. 
or they also have this in 12 for 280. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the 20 gauge. I might at some point wind up getting one of the 12 gauges just as a, you know, another, another beater shotgun, another something to play with. So, well, thanks for checking out this video, guys. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'll see you in the next one.